The salvage yard was added to GTA Online recently with the Chop Shop DLC. It's one of the better businesses in the game. So today in this video, I will show you how to make millions with the salvage yard every week. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I'm inside of the salvage yard. And in order to purchase salvage yard, you go over to Maze Bank Foreclosure and then you go, you click on these light blue icons and these are salvage yards. Anyways, I wanted to come here to show you what to get. The tint of your salvage yard doesn't really matter trade rates doesn't really matter tow truck though is gonna matter it's gonna be cheaper to get the tow truck beater which is only six hundred fifty thousand dollars the normal tow truck the one i have costs over a million dollars so i highly recommend you get the tow truck beater you can get a wall safe but it doesn't really matter because you already have a wall safe this thing right here will just increase how much money can be stored in your wall safe it goes from a hundred thousand dollars that can be stored in your wall safe to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and then the staff is pretty important too purchasing staff right here because Purchasing staff will make salvaging the vehicles that we're going to get with the tow truck go by faster. All right, so now that you understand how I set up my salvage yard, I'm going to show you the best way to make millions every week with the salvage yard. So first things first, before we get into the robberies, which is going to be the best way we make money from the salvage yard, we're actually going to go to our tow truck right here, and we're going to go tow a car back here so we can salvage it. Now, we're hoping to get a mission that's not too far away. If it's a little far away, then we can respawn back inside of our salvage yard luckily it's only one and a half miles away not too bad at all so yeah i'll be willing to do something probably within two miles anything above two miles i do not want to do i'm gonna respawn back my salvage yard oh yeah i also failed to mention i have zero dollars on this account just to show you how much money we are going to make in this video all right so we made it over to location we need to go and hook up to this vehicle that's over here somewhere we need to hook up to this vehicle okay there we go we hooked up to that vehicle now we need to take this vehicle back to the salvage yard and and that's pretty much all we have to do as far as these tow truck missions are concerned. Yeah, once we make it back to the salvage yard, I'll explain exactly how we make money from doing this. All right, so there we go. We've made it back to our salvage yard. And there we go. We just recovered the Imponte Beater Dukes. Now, how I make money from that is because I have two different workers working for me inside the salvage yard. They're going to be salvaging that Imponte Dukes while I go out and do robberies for the salvage yard. And that's going to take them one GTA online day, which is going to be 48 minutes and also we'll get even more money in our wall safe as that's happening too so that's gonna be pretty nice but yeah we can salvage two vehicles so i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna get another vehicle right now oh, where's the location this time are we close by Ooh, three miles nope 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 no no okay so what i want to do is i want to go and spawn into another session and we'll do that over again and the reason for that is because this tow truck is very very slow and plus even as i'm recording this there's snow on the ground so we want this to be as efficient as possible and there are locations that are even even less than a mile from here so yeah i'm giving my range of less than two miles anything less than two miles i'll do where are we going we're getting the albany emperor and that's less than a mile exactly that's exactly what i want that is the reason i did that that was textbook right there we went from three miles to a total distance traveled of two miles just going there and back we get to stay in the city too like there was one location that i did where we had to go all the way in the mountains and yeah this vehicle going uphill is not the best so another reason why i want to stay in the city but anyways, yeah, let's just pick up this emperor. Let's take it back. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention once everything is salvaged, we'll get anywhere between 40 and $60,000, which is pretty nice, especially for not too much work. And then plus the wall safe amount that we get. All right. And there we go. We've made it back to our salvage yard. So now these two vehicles are going to be salvaged for parts while I do salvage yard robberies, which are going to be over here. All right. So now we're here at the salvage yard robberies. And the thing with these is that you can only steal these vehicles once per week. So after you steal all three vehicles and sell them off, you can't do anymore and last week was the first week that this dlc was out the total value for stealing all of these vehicles last week and selling them off was nine hundred and ninety five thousand dollars and this week is going to be one million and ten thousand dollars so it's going to fluctuate how much money you're going to make every week but i'm going to give it a range every week between i don't know let's just say nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars and one million and fifty thousand dollars giving it like a hundred thousand dollar kind of buffer i think that's pretty safe to say just seeing how these first two weeks are going all right so let's get into these so we're gonna start out by stealing the vapid click right here i do not have them <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, game. You do not have enough cash. The setup cost is $20,000. Okay, that's great because I wanted to start out this video with $0. All right, yeah, let me go get some money real quick and I'll be back. All right, so I got my $20,000. So yeah, we're ready to go now. Are you sure you wish to steal this vehicle? The setup cost is $20,000. I have exactly $20,000. There we go, back to zero. So yeah, there's different robberies that we have to do to get these vehicles. This one's gonna be the gangbanger robbery. I'm gonna go through all the robberies that we are actually allowed to do for this week in this video. Essentially, these are like a mini heist. We have two like free mode missions that we can do right here that are required. This one's optional right here. You don't have to do it and I'm not going to do it. And then you have three tasks right here, which are very, very short missions that you can do. And yeah, I'll show you all of those. But yeah, let's start by getting the police maverick. Oh yeah, every week with the salvage yard robberies, as the vehicles reset each week, so will each mission that will go along with the vehicle. So yeah, there's a new robbery this week that is brand new for this week. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Anyways, I am here here so we need to hack into the signal box so we can find where the police maverick is all right in there yeah there's a the police maverick um it is at the local hospital which is fantastic yeah i'll steal it from the local hospital yeah most of these setups and like the actual like robbery itself and all that it's gonna happen within los santos so highly recommend you get a salvage yard in downtown los santos instead of the one in Polito bay or even sandy shores yeah we need to access the roof which i mean i have an oppressor so here i am so yeah we just need to steal the police maverick which is right here now we just need to lose the cops which pretty easy easy to do with the police maverick. All right, there we go. We lost the cops and we just have to deliver the police maverick to the marked location. All right, and there we go. We just delivered the police maverick. So now we just need to leave the area. And once we do, this setup will be passed. All right, and there we go. That setup has been complete. So yeah, let's jump into the next setup. All right, so we need to jump into the next setup right here, which is going to be tactical gear. So let's go start that up. Yeah, these setups are so nice. This is only like a half mile away. And especially when you have an oppressor, not a very long drive at all. So somehow we need to enter the lockup. I think I can do that easily. Oh, I actually can. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice as an oppressor. You just fly right there. Now, you do have to be alert here because I think these guys... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about... I forgot how many people are right there. Jeez. All right, there we go. I think I've taken out everyone. So now we just need to try to find the tactical gear. All right, there we go. We just found the van that has the tactical gear. So we're going to get inside of this van and we're going to drive away. All right, so now what we need to do is we just need to take this tactical gear to the salvage yard. And we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We delivered the tactical gear. So now what we need to do is we need to go into free mode so we can do the actual task. I'll show you how we're going to do the task. So on the map now, there are three different green little duffel bags. And these three duffel bags are going to be the task that we have to complete. So there's one here. There's one over here in the Chumash area. And there's one all the way in Polito Bay. My goodness, why do I keep getting the Polito Bay one? I got that last time. All right, so I made it all the way to Polito Bay. And as you can see in the top left, we can press right on the D-bag to contact Jamal to begin stealing a getaway vehicle for the gang banger robbery so yeah let's start that up all right so we need to break into a garage and there's a garage right here apparently at the cluck and bell factory all right so we need to take out a bunch of people there's a lot of people here so yeah let me just start shooting all right so there's many different getaway vehicles but we actually don't even need to use like a getaway vehicle which i'm going to show you why you don't have to use a getaway vehicle during the finale but we technically needed to start up the finale so yeah let's get this the anis 300r and we're gonna have to drive all the way back to the salvage yard from Polito Bay. So this is going to be a fun journey all the way back. All right, so I lied. Instead of us going back to our salvage yard, we're going to go to a marked location, which is going to be this location right here. So yeah, now we leave the area and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. Task complete. We have two more tasks that we have to do. And one is literally right here. So yeah, let's contact Jamal. Let's see what we're going to have to do now. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the ammunition one. Got it. Got it. I forgot about this one. Okay, so we're going to go into ammunition. We have to pick up a bag and pretty much that's it. All right, so here's the bag right here. So we have to collect the bag and then we have to stash the weapons at the police station and that's gonna be it for this task all right so we made it over to the police station we want to do this pretty quick or else we're gonna get caught but anyways yeah we're gonna put this bag underneath this trash bin so now we just need to leave the area and we should be good to go all right and there we go task complete we have one more task that we have to do before we can actually start up the robbery itself so let's go over and let's go do our final task all right so here we go we've made it over to chumash area so we can actually start up the final task we have to go get stun guns okay Okay, yeah, we need to steal stun guns from a security vehicle. I think that's quite literally it. So yeah, here's the security vehicle. We're going to look in the trunk. And we're going to steal the stun guns right here. And they're just going to deliver these stun guns back to the salvage yard. And then once we make it back to the salvage yard, this task will be complete and we'll be ready to do the robbery. All right, and there we go. Our third and final task has been complete. So let's head on over here and let's start up the robbery. All right, so after all that, we can go down to here and we can click start robbery. So that's what we're going to do. So we need to go to the police maverick that we stole earlier 
there and we're gonna take this police maverick and take it to the police station oh yeah essentially our goal for this robbery is to break someone out of prison and then once we break this guy out of prison he's gonna repay us by telling us the location of a car that we can go ahead and steal and sell off there's a here we go we're gonna land on the roof right here <laughs> oh my god oh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I ran into the blade. Anyways, hey, the heck? Why are you shooting at me, guy? You know, I was supposed to incapacitate that guy anyways. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to throw the BZ gas into the ventilation units. There's the ventilation units, and there's some gas. So we have to knock out four of these ventilation units. Okay, there we go. There's another ventilation unit down, two more to go. There we go, another ventilation unit down, one more to go. All right, and there we go. All four ventilation units have been gassed up, and yeah, it's clearly taking effect on that guy for sure. All right, so now we need to enter the police station, and we have a gas mask on, so we're not gonna be affected by all this gas, but the policemen down here, they're also gonna equip a gas mask. All right, so now we need to locate the cell keys, which should be in here in this room. At least I thought they were. They're not in here, so we need to stun pretty much everyone in here, which is very weird, because, you know, we can actually use normal guns in pretty much every other mission, but instead we have to use a stun gun. I think that's pretty interesting, but anyways, here's to sell keys so now we need to head on over to the basement which is going to be over here and right, so we've made it down to the basement we need to access the computer so we can get the guy out of his cell all right so now we need to unlock king tiny out of his cell so now we need to export king tiny all the way back and hey the frick oh my god i just stunned the freaking wall That's exactly what i wanted to do so i would like to stun that guy and then stun this guy nice 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 so now what we're gonna do instead of actually okay okay first we need to collect the weapons which is gonna be under the trash bin that we stored it under earlier now what we're gonna do is we're gonna call in our sparrow and we're going to escape via the sparrow i think the sparrow spawned in at a wrong spot so that's awesome oh yeah no it definitely spawned in at the wrong spot it definitely did all right screw it tiny get in here we have to lose the cops yeah my sparrow spawned in on top of the bridge yeah okay note to self and note to y'all for the future make sure you're more out onto the road so your sparrow can actually spawn in on the road and if you don't have a sparrow or any like aircraft like that that can spawn in then just use the normal getaway vehicle but yeah i called in my sparrow here's a sparrow right here so yeah now we're just gonna lose the cops and the sparrow which is gonna be a lot quicker uh oh uh oh uh oh um king tiny our plane's going down or a helicopter this is a helicopter king tiny okay wow oh that was almost really really bad okay well that's not how i drew that up uh yeah king tiny we need a vehicle now oh my god i found a vehicle right here wow that is shocking i found a vehicle right here all right so now we're gonna take king tiny here and yeah he's gonna get inside of this helicopter and he's gonna be able to escape out of here all right but we're not done just yet we need to infiltrate the vaga's hideout so we can steal that vehicle all right so we made it over to the vaga's hideout yeah we have to take out a lot of people yeah there's a decent amount of people that we have to kill for these robberies <laughs> dude no way dude the, the vehicle that we're stealing is a christmas vehicle it has a nice bow on top dude this is fantastic yeah i'm filming this right before christmas so yeah this is pretty cool but anyways yeah we need to take the click back to the salvage yard <laughs> all right and there we go we've made it back to the salvage yard all right and there we go we were able to bring the car back to the salvage yard um every time you do those robberies there's potential bonus payments that you can get i got two out of the three so i got twenty thousand dollars if you get all three of them instead of getting thirty thousand dollars you get fifty thousand dollars but two out of three is not bad. But anyways, yeah, now we can go up and inspect the click. And now we're going to sell this vehicle off. Now, there's two ways you can sell this vehicle off. You can salvage it. Hello? Okay, I don't know what just... Oh, oh, the Dukes. The Dukes has been salvaged. Oh, oh, and I was wrong too. Okay. Okay, so I gave you the wrong information earlier. That's my fault. I just looked it up. Every time you salvage a vehicle, you get anywhere between $30,000 and $40,000. I got $31,000 for salvaging the Imponte Dukes. But anyways, so yeah, now let's go back to inspecting the click so you can either salvage this for parts which you can salvage this for two hundred and eight thousand dollars we're not going to do this because we're going to sell this vehicle off we're going to have to drive it to a specific location for two hundred and sixty thousand dollars this will pay us out obviously a lot more so yeah let's get into this all right so we just have to deliver the click to the terminal which is just under two miles and as you can see the bottom right our total payment is going to be two hundred and sixty thousand dollars but the problem is is that if we wreck with this vehicle that payment will go down it won't go down like crazy though but still i would like to keep it at a beautiful number of two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. i don't want to see like 259 562 something stupid like that i like beautiful zeros at the end of my numbers all right and there we go we've made it to terminal not a scratch on the car just maybe a little bit of snow but not horrible and there we go we get paid two hundred and sixty thousand dollars for that so in total we made three hundred and eleven thousand dollars from that robbery but we still have two more robberies that we're going to get into that are going to pay out even more so let's jump into the next one 
All right, so there we go. The Emperor has been salvaged for $32,000. That has been credited into my bank account. All right, so before we start up another robbery, there's like a little bit of a cooldown. I think it's five minutes. But as we wait for that, we're going to go out and do some more tow truck service missions. All right, and there we go. We just recovered two vehicles. So now they're being salvaged. Now let's jump into our next robbery. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the Fister Comet Safari right here. And it's going to sell for a max value of $345,000. So yeah, let's start that up. A $20,000 starting cost. All right, so this is the cargo ship robbery, which I haven't done this one. I think this one was available last week, but I didn't do it last week. So for each of these robberies, you have to do like an introduction, like scope out mission. So yeah, that's what we're going to do right here. We have to scope out the dock. So let's jump into that. So yeah, for this one and the last robbery that we're going to do, we're going to have to do a scope out mission. That first one that we did, we did the week prior that specific mission. So yeah, we didn't have to do a scope out mission there. So yeah, once you get started with all of this, it'll be a lot quicker. So you don't have to do these scope out missions. But anyways, we have to take a bunch of photos of different things. This is what I'm looking for in here. Aha, yes it is, okay. And there's an action figure there too I haven't stolen yet. I'm too far away. Oh, 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 am I supposed to like get up close? Here, 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 is this close enough? I got Jamal. All right, two more locations we need to scope out. Okay, we need to take a photo of that. All right, there we go. We need to scope out one more thing and it's going to be the cargo ship. Arrow's right here. Here, Jamal, you want it specifically right there. Oh, Jamal, you are so picky. Key. Fine, fine, fine. All right, Jamal, is that better, huh? Yes, okay, that is much better for Jamal. <laughs> All right, so now we need to return to the salvage yard so then we can actually start setting up this robbery. All right, there we go. Scope out has been complete. So let's go back over here to the planning wall. And same thing here. We have two different missions that we need to do. And then we have three different tasks that we have to do. It's not gonna be two missions and three tasks every single time. That's just how it's going so far for these first two robberies that we're doing. All right, so we're gonna do the planning work missions first. So we're gonna start out by doing the sabotage and disguise mission. So let's jump into that. Oh my, we have to go to Polito Bay? Why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I keep getting missions in Polito Bay. I don't know if this one's always in Polito Bay, but this time, since I actually have money, I'm going to call a cab and we're going to fast travel all the way to Polito Bay. That's ridiculous. To go all the way to Polito Bay. All right, so let's get in the taxi. Yeah, take me to a point of interest. We're going to go to Polito Bay right here. Oh, I can't fast travel? <laughs> Okay, so you cannot fast travel during the actual mission. Good to know for future and maybe good to know for you. So yeah, you're actually gonna have to travel all the way to Polito Bay, which is gonna really suck if you are a low level and you don't have an oppressor like me or any sort of aircraft. You're gonna have to drive all the way up there. All right, so we traveled all the way to Polito Bay and we have to break into the LSPA office. I'm gonna do it like so. I didn't even alert the camera somehow. Oh, I have alerted the officers. Okay, so we need to hack the LSPA database. All right, so we have to do this hack right here. All right, there we go, hack done. Oh, we need to plant explosives too. Jeez, we are tearing this place up. Okay, there we go. We planted all the explosives. So now we need to locate the Coast Guard outfits, which is going to be, I think it's over here, right? Of course it is. Nice duffel bag. So now we need to get out of here. All right, so there's a few people right out here that we need to take out. Very nice. So now we need to detonate the explosives. So we're going to go here. We're going to click detonate bomb. Bro, there's people attacking me on golf carts. Jeez, what an explosion. Okay, nice. Now we need to deliver the outfits to salvager. Really? That's all we were doing? Oh, I guess we were technically like hacking something, but we came here to get outfits. We didn't have to go all the way here for outfits. That's kind of silly. Oh, whatever. I have to lose the cops now. Now there's an easy way to lose the cops for most of these missions. Like you can just die and you'll just automatically lose the cops. Okay. Okay. We lost the cops and I didn't want to die earlier because I knew I could just travel in the middle of nowhere and no cops would find me essentially. So yeah, now we're just going to deliver the outfits to the salvage yard and then that'll be mission passed. Now, please do not give me any more missions all the way in Polito Bay, please. And thank Thank you. All right, and there we go. Mission passed. Let's jump into the next setup. Right, so the next setup right here is going to be the Skylift setup. So yeah, let's jump into that. Oh my goodness. We have to go to Fort Zancudo, which I mean, it's not incredibly far away, but still like where are the missions in the city? You want game? All right, so we made it to Fort Zancudo. So we need to go over here to steal the Skylift. Hello, gentlemen. How's it going? Yeah, fine. I just wanted to say hi. My goodness. Y'all are so mean. Just expect the worst. I own a hangar inside of here, you know. You don't have to shoot me. Bye-bye, birdie. Bye-bye, birdie. Bye-bye, another birdie. Bye-bye, birdie. Bye-bye, birdie. How many more? <laughs> bye. Bye-bye, birdie. Okay, now I can steal the Skylift. My goodness, that was 
way more than I wanted to do. All right, so we're in the Skylift now, which is a very awkward looking helicopter. So we need to lose the cops, which this time I will kill myself because I don't know where I'm taking this. Probably somewhere in the city, but I want to be 100% sure. So I'm going to hang out by this car. Hello, car. How's it going? Okay, I wanted you to stay with me. No, the car didn't want to be my friend. Okay, fine. Why am I back here? We're back at the military base. We spawned back at the military base. Luckily, they had a buzzer nearby. So it's not the end of the world. Yeah, the setups for this one has not been great. All right, so we made it back to Skylift. So now we need to deliver the Skylift to the Mark location, which is as I expected in the city. All right, so we've made it over to the Mark location. And yeah, we just have to leave the area and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. The Skylift has been acquired. So now we need to do our tasks and all of our tasks are luckily in the city, which is going to be nice. All right, so we've made it over to this location. Uh, we have to get bolt cutters. Really? We have to have a whole mission to get bolt cutters? We can go to a store and buy bolt cutters and no one's going to raise an eye. Are these like special bolt cutters? Like, I'm very lost. I don't know if I was supposed to like, you know, cause a scene or not, but I did. Oh, here's the bolt cutters. I see it. Wow. Very nice bolt cutters. Okay. It makes sense why we get the bolt cutters like during the Cayo Perico heist, in my opinion, even though you can get a cutting torch, but like, let's just say you don't get the cutting torch during the Cayo Perico heist. Like there's just bolt cutters just lying around on the island. Like that's fine. We fly all the way out to Cayo Perico. That's fine. This, this doesn't make a lot of sense. It's bolt cutters. Like what are we doing? We just purchase bolt cutters anywhere. Anyways, here's your bolt cutters. All right, there we go. First task has been complete. We have two more to go. All right, so we've made it to the next location. We need to steal flares, okay? I think this is a little bit more reasonable to steal flares. Just search a lifeguard station. Flares? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know where the flares are? Oh, pretend like you don't hear me. Oh my gosh. You're wearing a swimsuit when it's snowing and you're ignoring me. I'll take care of that. Anyways, where the heck are the flares? In the boat. Duh. Duh. This mission makes a little bit more sense. There we go. Got flares. We need to deliver these flares back to the salvage yard. We should be good to go. All right, there we go. Another task complete. We have one more task to do, so let's jump into it. All right, so we made it over to the third task. What are we doing? Getting a boat. Oh, it's in the storage facility. Okay. Okay, one boat, please. Bunch of low riders. Okay. Steal either a dinghy or sea sharks from inside the storage facility and deliver it to the salvage yard. Well, there's a dinghy. And here's sea sharks. Okay. Oh, come on. I just wanted to take look at the collection yeah so for this setup it looks like we're gonna have to steal some sort of vehicle that has like a tow hitch so we can tow whatever boat we want out of here but first i have to go take out all these guys because they are clearly excited to see me and they're very welcoming who is still alive in here bro how many of these people do I have to take out oh my god can y'all like do something else okay i think we've killed enough people i don't know if it's gonna be better for us to take a dinghy or a sea shark i'm gonna go with the dinghy since it's just way more convenient since it's literally just right here. So yeah, let's exit the storage facility. And where are we taking this? We're going to store this at the salvage yard. Do we even have enough room in there? All right, there we go. We've made it back to the salvage yard with our boat. And there we go. Task complete. So now let's actually jump into the robbery. All right, so here we go. Let's launch the robbery right now. All right, so now we need to go to Elysian Island and we need to go... Um, I don't know what we're doing yet. All right, so we've made it all the way out here to Elysian Island to enter the dinghy. This is the dinghy that we just stole. So now we need to go out to sea. All right, so we've made it over here to the cargo ship. We have to get onto the cargo ship somehow. It's apparently suggesting I should go here. Okay, yeah, we're going to climb... <laughs> We're going to climb up the chain. So what I thought we were doing, but I was kind of like, hmm, really? All right, so we've made it onto the cargo ship. So now we need to sneak to the bridge. Apparently, they said I could, like, walk into their path. I don't know. I'm just going to take out this guy right here. Take out that guy right here. I don't even know if this is the best path or not. This is the first time I'm doing this, so we're just kind of winging it right now. What? That is not the way. I didn't mean to pull that weapon. I had my suppressed weapon out and just, nope. Now alerted. So yeah, now there's like helicopters after me. A bunch of different people after me. Yeah, this is definitely exciting now. Oh no, I ran out of snacks too. No, no, this is going to be way harder than it has to be. No, no, this is going to be brutally hard now why why no okay make sure you get your snacks beforehand this sucks so we made it all the way up here is this where we have to go yes oh okay really really i break in and then immediately i just die no that's stupid so we need to go in here and yeah there's someone that killed me last time yeah you the captain the captain the person that killed me all right so we need to search the captain what does he have terminal codes why do i need that i don't even know why i need that okay so now we need to access the bridge terminal yeah, we're supposed to find a container that potentially has a car that we're trying to steal oh good now we get to put the bolt cutters to use okay now we need to take out the sea sparrow because wants to shoot at 
me. Very disrespectful. <laughs> I did not know we were skydiving down. Okay, so... Okay, I died, but the Zion has been salvaged for $37,000. That's nice. Okay, we finally made it all the way up here. Uh, let's cut open this container with our bolt cutters that we had to steal. All right, what do we got? Is that what we're looking for? Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. So we need to attach a flare. Oh, 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 I just set one down. Oh, all right, there you go. There's a nice flare. Protect the sky lift as it collects the container. The sea sparrows can help. Thank you. Okay, let's get into a sea sparrow and yeah, I guess let's protect it. Okay, we do have missiles on this thing and there's our sky lift right there. Yeah, please do not mess with my skylift i don't want this mission to go bad i'm about to die i don't have snacks even though there is a place inside the salvage yard i could collect snacks but i forgot all right anyways yeah the skylift is going back to land oh anyways the vigera has been salvaged for thirty-seven thousand dollars once again so that's nice so the two cars that we just salvaged got a total value of seventy four thousand dollars that's really good all right thank you thank you skylift you did a great job all right anyways yeah we need to now open the container and we just need to drive back to the salvage yard i assume and we should be good go oh, the car's just rolling out for us what the that doesn't concern anyone yeah we should have to deliver the comet safari to the salvage yard and we should be good to go i'm liking that these vehicles that we're doing they have a bunch of christmas liveries on it that's pretty cool all right and there we go we've made it back to the salvage yard and there we go robbery complete and yeah goodness we did not get a single bonus reward i didn't think i would to be honest oh i got a first time bonus though for that i hadn't done that yet so i got fifty thousand dollars just from that so yeah now it's time for us to sell this vehicle off we're gonna sell it off for three hundred and $45,000. So let's jump into that. All right. So we just have to take it all the way to the terminal. Once again, all of these like cell missions, are going to have us go to the terminal. All right. And there we go. We've made it to the terminal and there we go. $345,000 in my bank account. Not a scratch on the vehicle. Of course, since I'm a great driver. All right. We still have one more robbery to do. So let's head back to the salvage yard. All right. So before we do our next robbery, we're going to do two more truck service missions. So yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. All right. There we go. I just brought in two more cars right here to be salvaged while we do our final robbery which is going to pay out the most for this week which is going to be the trephonic thrax right here so we want to go steal this vehicle this is a robbery i haven't done before this specific type of robbery so once again we're gonna have to do another scope out mission this one's called the podium robbery this one's new for this specific week that i'm recording this right now all right here we go we're jumping into the scope out mission we have to get to the diamond casino all right so we made it to the diamond casino we have to scope out some of the exterior for the diamond casino all right so first things first we need to take a picture of this this nice it's the way i like to go in during the big con approach for the diamond casino heist all right so then we have to take a picture of the entrance to the music locker or apparently that's the waste disposal entrance i don't know what i was taking a photo of it looked like a music locker anyways we need to enter the casino now all right we're inside the diamond casino now what am i doing in here oh photograph of the vehicle podium Ta-da, there you go. All right, that's all we have to do for the scope out mission. Yeah, we need to return back to the salvage yard and we actually need to start setting this thing up. So let's head back to the salvage yard. All right, so there we go. We scoped out the diamond casino. Yeah, now let's actually set this thing up. All right, here we go. Another robbery where we need to do two planning work missions and then we have three tasks. All right, so we're gonna start by getting the LSDS disguises right here. So let's jump into that. All right, so we made it to this location. Yeah, we have to destroy a bunch of sewage tankers, which, okay. It's these blue tankers in here. They're like straight ahead. Yeah, that one. Oh, here's another one there then there's one more there very nice now we have to turn the release valves okay sure all right this is the last valve we have to turn really really no that's so stupid i think that was the last turn i had to do like as far as like actually cranking the valves and my personal vehicle has been impounded mm -hmm. all right give a nice call to my lovely assistant please give me my vehicle back from the impound lot there goes a thousand dollars from my life thank you there we go everything should be fully contaminated i have to wait for the lsds to arrive oh 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 got it so we're supposed to contaminate things and then the lsds comes in and then i guess they're gonna try to save the day but as they're saving the day we steal our van all right i'm gonna take your van i already took your life and i'm gonna take this back to my salvage yard all right and there we go mission pass we have another planning work mission we have to get into so yeah let's jump into that all right so we have to get the storage key card i guess for the diamond casino yeah let's get into it okay we've made it to mirror park we're supposed to find the valet's home how am i supposed to know where the heck the valet lives there's a what there's a red bf club in front i'm just gonna drive around really fast and hope the game just kind of throws it onto the map as i pass right by it hey okay yeah i found it I saw a red car. I was like, hmm, interesting. But yeah, let's enter the valet's home. Hey, we have to locate the valet. Here's the valet. Oh, wow, you're already dressed for work. 
Oh, we're supposed to intimidate him. I was like, am I supposed to punch him? Okay, I'll beat him up. Where is the key card, sir? Okay, there you go. We intimidated him enough. Oh, uh, we have to steal a storage key card from the safe. Wait, he just gave me his safe code? I feel like that's kind of stupid, but all right, let's just open the safe. All right, and there we go. We have the key card, and yeah, let's exit the valet's home. Okay, we have to lose the cops, and I think all we have to do now is actually just head back over to the salvage yard. Um, I'm going to do the take my own life strategy. And I spawn in without any cops, which is very, very nice. All right, and there we go. Another planning work mission pass now we have to go do the task oh, where are the tasks this time there's one right here there's one right here where's this last one please don't be far away okay it's not far away i just can't find it wait there's only two tasks oh i thought there was three i swore i thought there was three okay oh well, i'm down for two so i have to get gas mask okay so we need to search the fire station for gas mask okay excuse me fire environment sir uh where's your gas mask found it dude kind of lame fireman i mean i literally just drove up into here with an oppressor they didn't do a Thing. Wow, that was pathetic. <laughs> so now we just need to go back to Salvager. Wow, that is probably the quickest thing I've ever done in GTA Online. Goodness, I don't even think that took a minute. Because our salvage yard is probably the closest salvage yard to that fire station. But there we go. One out of three robberies have been completed. We have three tasks to complete. I, okay, now I'm confused. Like, what? To get repel equipment and then sabotage the casino. I'm a little lost by one of them because one of them is not on the map for some weird reason. Um, I'm just going to jump into the next one and hopefully it spawns in. I assume this last one is you have to to complete the first two to complete the last one for some stupid reason i don't know all right so yeah we're getting the repel equipment what are we doing for this break into the hideout okay so hideouts over here so yeah let's break into this oh, okay okay this is very similar to like a stash house so what i like to do for stash houses to get like right in here throw a grenade right there kind of bank it off of there and that should kill most everyone i think they killed three out of the five so then we'll just come down here they're still phased by that grenade shot then they just stand around anyways yeah there we go everyone's dead and here's the repel equipment all right so now we need to take this repel equipment back to the salvage yard and we should be good to go all right and there we go task complete we still have one more task to do i'm gonna go back outside and hopefully it's now on the map hmm i don't see it i'm very very confused i have no idea what to do or is this the last one at the diamond casino i have a weird feeling it's at the diamond casino i haven't looked anything up i haven't seen anyone do this so i'm kind of just winging it right now i assume we have to go to the diamond casino because this last one is sabotage casino in my opinion the best way to sabotage the casino is actually going there and doing something i don't know i'll go to the casino see what's up oh 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 yeah it is here it is here okay you see it's the normal diamond casino logo with the little hammer and screwdriver icon thing like very very small that is so hidden like come on when i'm looking at this big map with all these icons like i'm supposed to find that little thing good thing i'm a smart intelligent person i already knew that so when you get this robbery you'll now know that this last task is over actually at the diamond casino all right so here we go i'm at the diamond casino i have to plant explosives inside the casino to sabotage it um okay sure i guess plant explosives in the restroom what is this the restroom is already explosive if you know what i mean but i guess we're taking a little bit more literal approach and that's it one bomb oh 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 i'm getting it now i'm getting it now. we placed that one bomb and then the whole sewer and water system is gonna go crazy and then we're now gonna go in as like the sewer and water people and try to fix things god okay i understand it now all right all right this is all starting to make a little bit more sense all right there we go all the planning work has been completed and all the tasks have been completed so we can now actually start up the robbery so let's do that all right so here we go we need to get into this van all right so we need to take this van to the vantage point which is going to be just over here right across the street and now we need to detonate the bomb so we can ruin the sewer and water okay there we go the explosive went off all right so yeah now we need to take the van all the way to the casino and we need to make it to the back of the casino i need to collect the repel equipment all right so yeah now we need to enter the casino all right so we're inside the diamond casino now we need to follow this guard Ew, nasty, gross. Wait, we came here literally just a mop? Dude, I don't think this mop is gonna fix the mess. All right, so we have to wait for the guard to leave. Wait, this mop is actually working. How is this mop working? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, good enough. All right, so now we need to sneak to the elevator, which the elevator is going to be through these doors and to the right. All right, so we just called the elevator. I assume this is another mission we want to be absolutely sneaky through. Kind of like how last one should have been, even though I screwed that one up. All right, so we need to locate the elevator I can't see. Oh, we have a flashlight. Okay, we need to locate the elevator hatch. Okay, there's a bunch of cameras around. We need to take out these cameras. I assume we need to take out these cameras. Do I have a weapon that has a flashlight and suppressors? Dude, I'm literally just gonna shoot blindly through the dark. Am 
I hitting something? Oh, wait, you know what? I have a window of opportunity here. You know what? I'm just gonna run. Good enough. I think that's probably how I'm supposed to do it. I'm just being stupid. I'm literally looking at the mini map. Yeah, okay. There's a window of opportunity there. Take a right right here. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, so I think we need to go in here, right? Where is the elevator? Oh, I found it. Okay, I was about to get pissed. Okay, there's an the elevator hatch. Okay, nice. Okay, whoa, geez. Okay, this is very interesting. All right, so let's rappel down. Okay, wow. All right, I have never done this before. Oh, oh, wait, no, I have. I did this story mode. Okay, yeah, we did this story mode technically. All right, there we go. We rappelled all the way down. All right, so now we need to open the storage facility doors with the key card that we stole earlier from the valet guy. There we go. Unlock the doors. There's a bunch of guards here. Uh, I don't think I could have done that stealthy. I don't. Oh, geez. Oh, gas mask, gas mask now. I was trying to put on a gas mask. Okay, there we go. Gas mask has been equipped. We need to disable the security measures. Oh, geez. Okay, we have a hack to do. This is like the doomsday heist hack, which I'm very used to. All right, and there we go. I just did the hack. So now we're opening up another thing. So you need to take out more people. All right, so I think everyone's taken out. Where's the Thrax? Oh, the Thrax was back this way. Okay, Thrax is this vehicle right here. Ooh, ooh. It's not Christmassy, but it is very golden. I do like some gold. So yeah, now let's get out of here. We have to escape the casino. That's security the security doors are locked of course they are oh, oh 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 you like the show i'll give him a up close personal experience nice i need to hack the security terminal so we can get the heck out of here all right there we go i just unlocked the door so yeah now let's get back into the thrax let's get out of here let's take it back to the salvage yard oh there's more guards right here not anymore now we have to lose the cops and as I said before, the most efficient way to lose the cops is park the car, get out the car, run over here, and try to say hello to these cops. And there we go, we die. Oh, and never mind, that didn't work for this one. Okay, so maybe that only works for like the setup missions, maybe not the actual robbery. But luckily, we're pretty close to a location where we can lose the cops pretty easily in here. I'll show you exactly where you can go for this one. All right, so I have the Thrax back. What I like to do to lose the cops when I'm really in this area is I like to go over here. Oh, uh, we have a four star one level, by the way. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough to lose the cops, but I like to go down here, jump over here here i like to turn around and then there's a tunnel right here so yeah we like to enter this tunnel and it's gonna be very rare for cops to try to follow you down here so yeah now we're out of sight of the cops now all i have to do is just wait to lose the cops and then we can just take this back to the salvage yard and we should be good to go all right and there we go we've made it back to the salvage yard and there we go robbery has been complete and we lost a life we were undetected we had to escape the casino in a minute when does that minute even start i'm a little lost by that one. Oh well and we got a fifty thousand dollar first time bonus for that so that's pretty nice. But now what we need to do is sell off the Thrax. So yeah, now we can sell this vehicle off for $405,000, which is going to be, I think it's going to be the most profitable one like out of any of them so far, even from last week. This is only the second week, but yeah, $405,000, that's pretty nice. So yeah, let's get into it. Wait, I had a weekly challenge. Okay, so apparently I completed a weekly challenge of complete three salvage yard robberies. Didn't even know that was a thing. I'll take a free $100,000, but I was not paying attention to that at all. But anyways, yeah, we need to take the Thrax to the terminal once again. All right, so there we go. We've made it back to the terminal. And there we go. We delivered the Thrax there for $405,000. We didn't wreck it at all, so no payment loss. All right, so in total, we have made $1,306,000. But you have to keep in mind, two out of the three robberies I had done for the first time. So I got a first-time bonus of $50,000 each. So that's $100,000. So $100,000 of what I earned was first-time bonuses. And then another $100,000 was that weekly challenge. And then also you have to take into account that the two vehicles that we salvaged before the podium vehicle robbery still haven't been completely salvaged yet. Oh, let me go back to my salvage yard because we still have to collect what's inside of our safe because I started out this video with zero dollars in the safe. Oh, okay. Okay. The tornado has just been salvaged. So our final vehicle is about to be salvaged pretty soon. We got $30,000 there. Oh yeah, but our wall safe has $60,000 in it, which is pretty nice. So let's collect that. All right. So that was the last robbery I could complete for this week. So I can't do any more robberies for this week but minus the first time bonuses and that weekly challenge we've made one million one hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars and we still have one more vehicle that needs to be salvaged so it'll be over one million two hundred thousand dollars worth of profit that we've made in this video even after starting out with zero dollars so yeah the salvage yard is a pretty good way to make money especially with the salvage yard robberies but it's kind of unfortunate that we can only do it once a week but i think these robberies are pretty fun i really like that last one i think the podium vehicle one is actually pretty nice and there's still more that are being added into the game so it's gonna be excited to see what those are gonna look like but that is exactly how you make millions every single week with the salvage yard from the chop shop dlc in gta online make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see viewers get one attempt to try to complete heist for me in gta online